five. The political wrangling over new ward boundaries is kicking into high gear at City Hall. But an independent group is hoping to put an end to the backroom deals. The group unveiling its own proposed map this afternoon. WGN political reporter Tamon Bradley has the latest on that. Good evening. It's a long shot, but reform groups have produced an independent Chicago ward map. It's a suggestion for City Council, which must approve a new map. They call it the People's Map, a reimagining of Chicago's 50 wards. No more lobster looking wards with questionable boundaries drawn by the local aldermen to keep power. The map was produced by a 13 member commission formed by a coalition of reform groups, including Change Illinois. Never before have the people of Chicago been given a seat at the table to, sh to chart a possible path forward and future for themselves. We need to get the information about this map out to the people so that they can demand it of their alders. In the past, the mayor and powerful aldermen drew the map behind closed doors. This time around, some issues are being raised publicly. With Chicago's Latino population growing, their caucus wants more seats. Alderman Gilbert Villegas is chairman of the Latino caucus. The Latino community has grown to a point where it's only 40,000 away as being a plurality in the city. And so as a result of that, all we're looking for is our fair share of representation. The independent people's map includes 15 black wards, 14 Latino, and for the first time ever, an Asian majority ward. Uh, the people's map uh, has most of Armour Square, most of Bridgeport, and, and a good section of McKinley Park. It reflects the growing uh, Chinese and Asian American community over the past four decades. City Council is facing a December 1st deadline. These are the members leading the negotiations, the folks in the smoke-filled room. Alderwoman Michelle Harris, Alderman Villegas, Alderman Jason Irving, Alderman Harry Osterman, and Alderman Matt O'Shea. 41 older people must approve the map they come up with. If 10 members object and introduce a different map, it will force a special election, allowing Chicago residents to pick the map. Mayor Lightfoot campaigned on an independent map-making commission. Her office told us today that she welcomes the input from citizens, but they did not say that the mayor would commit to the people's map. Reporting from City Hall, Tamon Bradley, WGN News.